రత్నహీనత అనిమియా లాంటి జప్పులను రాకుండా ప్రయత్నం చేసినాము స్త్రీల సమస్యల స్త్రీల సమస్యల పరీక్షానికి మహిళా దర్బార్ నిర్వహించాం విద్యార్థులను ఉత్సాహపరించడానికి పోటీ పరీక్షలు నిర్వహించాడు మేము సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ విజయవంతమైన విద్యార్థులను ఎంపిక చేశాను వారు తల్లి అంతరలదు కలిసి వచ్చి బహు బహుమలదు బహుమతులు స్వీకరించారు ఇది స్వతంత్ర దినోత్సవం నాడు జరిగింది విద్యార్థులు హజారు చూసి గర్వపట్టాను కొంతరి కైర్ హర్జాను పట్టించి కోను ఇల ప్రజలతో నా ప్రేమను పంచుకున్నాను పంచుకున్నాను ఎన్నో యూనివర్సిటీలను సందర్శించి విద్యార్థులను కలిశాను హాస్టల్కు వెళ్ళి వాస్తలాన్ని అర్థం చేసుకున్నాను వారి అవస్థలను సమస్యలను వివర్సిత్ ముఖ్యమంత్రికి లేఖలు రాశాను వరద సమయంలో ఆయా ప్రాంతాలకు వెళ్ళి రెడ్ క్రాస్ ద్వారా ఎన్నో సగాయలు చేశాము కష్ట సమయాలలో ప్రజలను కలవడానికి ఆసుపత్రులకు వెళ్ళి వారికి ధైర్యాల్ని నింపాను డొనేట డివైస్ ద్వారా పేద విద్యార్థులకు లేప్టాప్ అందించాము మేము ట్విట్టర్ మెయిల్ ద్వారా సహాయం చేయడానికి మా వంతు కృషి చేశాము ఇవన్నీ ప్రజల మీద ప్రేమతో చేసినవే ఇవి కొన్ని ముఖ్యమైనవి మరి మనం ఇంకా చాలా పనులను చెయ్యాలని ఉంది పని చేసే శక్తి ఇచ్చిన దేవుడుకు ధన్యవాదాలు నాతో పని చేసిన ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి ధన్యవాదములు ప్రజా సేవకు సహరిస్తున్న ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి ధన్యవాదములు పత్రికా మిత్రులకు ధన్యవాదములు మీడియా మిత్రులానికి ధన్యవాదాలు మిత్రులందరికీ ధన్యవాదాలు ఎన్ని అట్టంగలు వచ్చిన నిర్మయ వచ్చిన నిర్మలమైన మనసుతో నా పని కొనసాగిస్తాను నా పని ప్రజల కోసం ప్రజల కోసం ప్రజల కోసమే నా పని కొనసాగుతుంది నా పని కొనసాగుతుంది దేవుడు దాని అనుగ్రహిస్తాడు దిస్ ఇస్ ఫార్ ది పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఈ స్పీచ్ ప్రజల కోసం నౌ ఫార్ ద మీడియా ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ విల్ షేర్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ మై వ్యూస్ ఐ ఎమ్ రియలీ హ్యాపీ అండ్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ జాయ్ అండ్ గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ బై సీయింగ్ ది మీడియా ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫిల్లింగ్ దిస్ హాల్ టోటలీ what all the duties i have performed it is only with a pure heart with affection towards the people of telangana when i took the charge as the governor of telangana the same day 3 years back i really thought i should be committed to this state because the love and affection the state people sh- shown on me but whatever may be the initiatives which i took forward to make it possible it was not an easy job even the highest office face so much of hurdles these are the what all we have projected these all the commitments and whenever heard about the problems faced by the people so we should share their grief to the extent within our limits or boundaries 
and to the extent which could be done by the office of rajbhavan we have extended that help and you all know it is not it's only a constitutional office it's not a and a people's office like other people representatives but i felt whatever may be the way we should but most of the time you should have seen we went to samaka saraka jatra almost i traveled 8 hours by road i should not <laughs> i should not disclose certain things because uh, certain people may think uh, why these all inform to the people but i think in the history of telangana i always feel the people of telangana more cultural the affection they show to each other particularly when i started celebrating the badukama with women with different walks of life even which we had my housemates and with journalist and doctors and all the other walks of life i found the culture the way they interact and share their views and thoughts and love and affection but whenever we wanted to reach out people definitely face some hurdles why i want to say some of the experience because for the past 3 years every state writes its history and 3 years the state will write a history how a women governor is discriminated but that discrimination did not halt this governor why i am telling women governor i am not discriminating i always don't reach out or demand a right because i am a i am a women i we always work like a man and we us work more than a man and we reach out and we get the right by ourselves by our performance that is my view even during my previous years i reached out my position because of that only not because of my getting some allotment or reservation because i am a woman but we all have a respect to the women hood so samaka saraka we plan to go you as you know it's it's almost it will take 8 hours and we asked for a helicopter from the government till last minute we were not informed whether they will give the helicopter or not early morning we started by car then some of the people called me and told samakka saraka will be there only till 4 o'clock the way you have the time you have started whether we don't know we will, you will reach there because they will go to the forest then i told i am going to going there to support my tribal population to pray the great goddess of samaka and saraka so without seeing me samaka saraka won't leave to the forest definitely they will stay exactly 4:30 almost 4:50 they told 5 o'clock they will return exactly 4:35 reached and i pray samaka saraka why i am telling this is not to pinpoint anybody but the greatest the highest office should be respected and if it is something is not provided let them inform why the office is treated like this to my knowledge i have done justice to my duty and whatever may be the problems i face because in the morning if i see the i always thank the print media and the electronic media morning first i see the media and decide about what all the problems the people are facing and what all the problems which we have to face which we have to help them and in what all the ways we have to reach out them this this is not this one only single incidents which i mentioned here we were denied the governor ad i was denied the governor address i was denied the hoisting the flag on the republic day and even now wherever i go the protocol is totally not followed i am not attend the governor the collector doesn't come and greet us 
and you are not i am not bothered but the office should be respected so definitely there will be in the history of telangana a governor office a governor is treated like this i don't want that history to be written in a negative way so because i am why i am this also i first of all i didn't want to talk about that but sometimes the reality should be known to the people of the telangana i always put all the problems in front of the people of telangana and i leave it to the people's opinion is it correct the governor is not allowed to take the opportunity of hoisting the flag on the republic day it is correct whether the government nay i am not worried because from that time i am not asking any help from the government for my transport wherever i could go through car by car i will go wherever i could reach out the people by train i am travelling but why this is happening what is the problem and if at all anything a good interaction will definitely solve the problems it is not meant that a governor should accept everything and it is not the uh, it is not the governor who is not denying everything he is not accepting everything i am a very reasonable person i study the matter clearly and if it is whatever may be the possible even certain things i feel the people of telangana should know about certain things where how the governor office is treated but in spite of that i am telling only this is said some truth should be revealed to the people of telangana but i am setting aside this i am this protocol issues or the respect to the highest office the constitutional office or to the respect to the most of the time the governor's office is humiliated for example at home if the the highest elected representative is not coming they should have informed us first they informed they will come and there was no any message from the office whether they are coming or not these take the system should be followed so again i am telling i don't want to talk about all these things but i wanted to, the people of telangana to know about that because we cannot hide these things in the history which is going to be written in the pages of telangana but in spite of that as i said to the people of telangana i love the people of telangana and there is no any personal motives in any of my activities i can again very strongly say there is no any personal motive on any of my activities with pure mind with the affection to the people of telangana it is my duty as a first citizen i have to attend this problem so only in that way i am attending i may be humiliated in the facebook or social media i am when i was a politician it is the curse of some of the women who are coming up in the life they will be the targets and they will be humiliated in the social media when i was a politician also i was targeted even now as a governor also i am tar i am targeted but i am not bothered about all things i am a very strong person nobody can shatter my strength or my commitment towards the people and whatever may be the assignment given to me it is only for the people all my activities will be and a grew true relationship and a true friendship between the people can solve most of the problems but discriminating discrimination of any office or anybody it is not acceptable in this 75th year of independence we are celebrating but a governor is asked not to talk on a republic day
but that didn't put the government on a halt but governor in spite of requesting for a speech it, if it, is, it was not given but I gave a message to the people of Telangana so whatever may be the hurdles whatever may be the situation we face I am a very it, I run a very transparent office and then they are telling you are con conducting Mahila Darbar what is the follow up you are going to the office uh, to the people hostel what is the follow up I have written letter when I went to Bazar IIT really it was disheartening to see the hostel situation disheartening to see the food it was I, 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 in, a, in a lighter sense the, uh, the vada served to me was so soft the vada served to the children was so hard then the children told at least from next day we will have uh, what will the change you will bring I told at least the vada will be soft from tomorrow at least the smallest change which I can say I am not telling I can bring great changes because I know the limitation of my duty and like the limitation of my office but I can motivate and I can initiate something so I have I wrote a letter how the uh, hostels are uh, in a very I cannot I, I should not uh, add adjectives it is a very poor condition where the children cannot live they, they are the future generation then some of the hostels even Telugu University I point out that certain problems I and I have always informed the government that also I can do as Chancellor uh, Basara is not under me as a Chancellor but uh, because of on humanitarian grounds I went and saw it and interacted with the children and even now what all the ways we could solve even when we met some of the uh, women with the problem during Mahila Darbar we always even now we are following it up and we are not running the government so that every problem could be solved but we are even informed the, the uh, representatives but uh, because it is from uh, Rajbhavan I don't know whether they are taking it or not but within our limits some monetary help we have given some recommendations to the hospitals we have done and some uh, uh, help to the studies we have done but whatever may be I really thank you all and my habit is enjoy everything whether you give respect okay you are not giving respect okay okay no problem we will do our duty let us all united do our duty and this is whatever may be as I said it is they cannot say governor should not go there governor cannot go there that is no any boundaries for a governor as a citizen she can go anywhere interact with anybody and go to any place so that only it's up to the floods I think you went to the flood area what help by deciding to go to the flooded area I motivated others to go to the flooded area that is indirectly I have motivated some people to their duty after performing <laughs> after initiating certain efforts so I am really happy to meet you all and let us all be jubilant we are celebrating our 75th year of independence and everyone whatever may be the office my intention is only to tell the people and my opinion is whether it is the people representative's office or whether it is the village sarpanch office whether it is governor's office everything is only for the people's service the basic intention may basic duty of each and every office is should be towards the people only we are performing in that way only and I am really thankful to you all and I thank my advisors both of them very senior officers Sharmaji and Mugantiji and my secretaries the secretary Surendra Mogangaru and joint secretaries Bhavani Shankar and joint secretary Raghu Prasad and my media advisor Raja Ram and all the my ADCs uh, Narsima 
and uh, Rajdeep and my senior OSD Sheshagri Rao Garu and all my office from the top office to all my housemates and I even who are all helping me and performing the duty of Rajban towards the people of Telangana I thank each and everyone and I thank all the journalists print electronic media and freelance journalists who have come here and uh, really I am thankful to Mr. Srinivasara from Hindustan Times from uh, Ms. Ratna from Siaset and Jafar Hussain and BBN Badma Badma Raj Badma Durai yeah? Badma Raj and Bhuvanaja uh, from Hindi Milap and uh, Beva Narayanan from Sivanstra TV and Sandeep Reddy from Maha News Uma Sudhir from NDTV Jagar from Raj News and Srinivas from City Vision and all the journalists and all the friends who have assembled here and really I feel and I have our opinion journalist journalism is the fourth pillar of our democracy and a good politician and a good office will definitely have a very good